dog trainer, behavior technician, Drake Michaels. Today we're at Fairhaven Fields and we're meeting up with Elise and her dog, Louie, who is a five month old long haired Dachshund. We did a great video on him and his leash reactivity in downtown Red Bank and he did absolutely fantastic. So today we're meeting over here at Fairhaven Fields because his mom walks him here and she just wants to get a read on how to handle him in this situation. So enjoy the video and uh, Stay tuned because it's going to be fun. How's Louie doing? He's doing good. Yeah, here he's barking. I know. I was just excited. To What's going on, treats. buddy? How are you? What are you doing? You ready to go? So what's usually your issue when you have him here? He gets very hyper. Hyper, huh? Yeah, hyper and Stay. excitable and Stay. not so much the barking as. Um, Stay. As just. Hi. What's going on? Kind of, you know, again, doing the stopping. But then, like, flying forward and... Oh, my goodness. Yeah, he gets really... And, I, you know, he's only... What is he? Six, six and a half months. Hold on, buddy. We got to get both clips. Hold that on. thing so Hold on. Hold on. I know. I know, buddy. I know, but I got to get both clips, buddy. There we go. There he is. So, I want to see how you deal with that. I mean, Which I way do you normally walk? Uh, this, we go, there's, like, a path. We go okay. to the sidewalk. Okay. <laughs> I just want to see how you do this. Well, you know, like I said before, I'm just going to hustle to scent. I'm going to get him right where he wants to go for smells. Uh, we got kids over there doing yeah. stuff. So if he looks over there, I'm going to yes and treat. Pretty much the same procedure as we did in downtown Red Bank. This Good place, boy. I was here on Saturday after I saw you. Okay. Oh my God, he was horrible. But he was great the next day. So again, awareness, number one tool right we got a jogger coming so before she gets too close come on. Come on. right we're just gonna go over here so we have distance if he orients to her I'll mark and pay yes nice popped right off the marker yes yes now up to me, they want they start like, and he goes, yes. he rolls around. Is that okay or no? That they come up to you or they that come he rolls up around? And he gets excited and they and yeah. he's. Yeah, it's fine. As long as you want to have engagement, if you don't, just tell him to stay away. Uh -huh. You know, you always tell people you're training, and then usually that'll leave. I mean, he gets really crazy, but he seems to enjoy it, and they don't. Yeah, that's fine. I mean, if you want to engage with people, like I said, if I don't want to deal with people, I just tell them I'm training, and that usually keeps them at bay. Right. Um, again, like right away, he comes out of the car, he's gathering scent, you know. He's gathering scent right away out of the car, so, you know, he's not barking at those kids, he's not freezing up, he's... So that's a good thing, is, to let yeah. him do, kind of do that. Again, gathering scent is a way dogs acclimate to their environment, and uh, it's good reinforcement, helps de-stress. Okay. Looks like he's fine to... Nah, you should want him to gather scent first. Yeah. Right? It's kind of like, you know, if you show up at the party, you might want to have a drink first. Right. Not dance. Right. right? You just might... get a feel for the room. Well, again, if you're here and he's got his nose on the ground and you can see what's happening in the park for a good amount of the distance you're going to be starting out in, you know, like you can't see everything, but you can have a good idea of where you're going to be going and what you're going to see, that'll help. This place gets crazy. Right. Well, that's the other thing, too. Like, you know, if you come here on a Saturday, it's going to be a lot more... In the afternoon, yeah. It's going to be a lot more crowded than if you're here now. So it's better to get him used to it while he's... While it's a little quieter. Well, I mean, you know, your schedule is your schedule. You can get here when you can get here. Yeah. But, you know, um, again, you have... Uh, what is he, 10 pounds? Yeah, he's about 10 pounds. 10 pounds so it's not like you have a lot of dog to deal with you know so you know unless you're in a time crunch just let him go where he needs to go right uh -huh. see some fresh urine right there Boop, don't lick don't lick good boy yeah who is here other dogs you gonna send a female he 
He's been being really, really good. Nice. The last few days. And, and you know, I was able to even walk him on Hope Road and then go across the street. Okay, good. Yeah, and that was at the Sunday after I worked with you with him. Nice. I couldn't believe it. Because that's the first time we ever did that. Okay, good. Yeah, see, I don't follow him. I want him to go. I, I'm like, get on the trail and let's walk. Right, but I mean, I've, if you're coming here for him, it's his walk. If you're coming here for you to exercise, maybe you leave him home. Right. You know, I'm not saying you can't bring him, but I always tell people, like, if you're going to jog with your dog or go for a long walk and you don't want them to stop, you should take the first part of the walk and have them do their business and smell and do stuff and then get some exercise. I don't know, I don't go out unless I have a dog, so when I'm out, it's always the dog's walk. Yeah. But, you know, I mean, there's times where I need to go where I need to go because I need to get it accomplished. But for the most part, you know, I try to just give the dog as much autonomy as That's I can. That's so interesting. I, I've never done that with my other dog. Right, well, I, mean, I guess it's, it's a good. mindset, you know. I'm, I'm from the culture of the dog's walk is a way for them to get mental stimulation, not so much exercise. Right, yeah. I mean, you can get exercise, but you have to go for a really long walk, yes! All right, so he's watching these young ladies over here with the yes, with the stroller. All right, good boy. Let's go over here. Yeah, you like people, huh? Yes. Good job. Yes. Good job. You see, little kid. Good boy. Yes. Yes. Yeah, he's doing great. He's doing really good. Good job. Disengaged on his own. Yeah. So again, like you know, I paid him, you know, whatever, three or four times. Yep. And then he's like, okay, they're cool. I'm back to sense. This is so helpful. Which is yes. But again, you know, he might check back in, and so I'll give him another payment. Leave it. See if I can get a disengagement with a leave it, which you did great. Come on, bud. Woohoo! Yeah, you having fun? Yeah, you like those people? Yeah. Good job. Good job. He loves people. He wants to go Come over on. to everybody. Come on. Nice. So that's another reason why See, the kid started running. So that's another reason why I moved on, because I knew they were going to take the kid out of the carriage, right? There's going to be voices. So I create distance, so it, if he does orient, it's not as intense. Right. Right, get him over here to some different new scent. Come on, bud. And again, like we talked about in Red Bank, you know, if you need to move, you can just gently move. Yes, and he'll just go move, with you. let him follow with he'll, you. He'll go with you, you know. Oh, boy. Oh, new scent. See, the other thing is if you don't let him stop and gather scent and you just try to walk with him, then he's going to get frustrated and then he's going to bark and he's going to pull more. That's what I'm experiencing. Because he's frustrated. I'm not doing what you're doing. Right. Well, again, like I always remind people, the more the dog can gather scent, the less frustrated they are. Right? This is very mentally stimulating, so it's going to reduce stress. It's kind of like if I took you to the mall and I said, you can't look at that, you can't look at that, you can't look at that. You're like, why am I here? So this is like the dog mall. You know, he wants to stop and window shop, you know? Yes! Good job. So he checked out those people. We'll probably get a little play here off the tennis yeah. court. Right? We got a dog over here. I hope they're not off leash. It looks That's like... That's the other thing about this they place. They are. They do that. Oh, yeah. Off leash. And he's got a leash in his hand. So. Yeah, they do that a lot over here. So I'm Especially gonna just pick him up there, and mark and like pay. The, the nature right. trail right this, over this there. This guy doesn't have any, look at him. He looks like he could barely handle himself. Yeah. Right, his dog's off leash in a parking lot, right? Yeah, film him. Yeah, put the camera on him. Yeah, there you go. Yes. 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 That was good. That was good. Well, again, I don't know anything about that dog, so I don't need him running up to us, you know? And 
That guy ain't gonna catch him. He has no training or recall. This happened to me the other day when I was here. Right, so again. And I picked him up. If you think that he is gonna be compromised in any way, or you need to just get out of the situation, just pick him up. Yeah. I mean, in that case, the dog came running up to us. Right, well. Not good. I, I'm 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 positive that the rule here is to keep your dog on. Oh, leash. absolutely. Yeah. Right, and to pick up after the dog. Right. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. Two very basic and good rules. You know, but people like that, it's a lot of hubris because they think, oh, my dog's fine. Your dog is fine to a certain extent, but it doesn't mean that the dog that's being run up to is fine. Yeah. Right? You just don't know. He right. doesn't know who's here. That's why humans greet like this, right? Nobody wants somebody in their face. Right. Right? So, you know, it's dog. the proper dog etiquette is have your dog on leash and don't approach people if you're not invited. Yeah. Come on, bud. So, so far, he doesn't care about the tennis players. Right there. Look. <laughs> Fine. Right there. Yep. Yeah. Well, again, see, you know, the thing is, too, is if that guy, if his, if his dog gets bitten up by another dog, what's he gonna say? Right. So we got another dog coming here this way. So, fortunately, they look like they're on leash, or at least. Yeah. He, the guy's holding the leash. Yeah. yeah. He's on leash. So, so again, when you see dogs, create distance. Right? Okay. Well, because that's going to reduce reactivity. You don't know anything about that dog. Some people just let their dogs go up to dogs. Yeah. He's got a, a flexi lead. So he obviously, the dog can get, the dog can get away from him. Right. Thank you. <laughs> Good boy. All right, so we'll get a little, uh, get a little work here with this dog. Yes. 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 Nice popping right off the marker. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Good job, buddy. Now, if we had stayed on the path and we went head to head, right? We don't know anything about that dog. He might be very friendly, but still you also have a very big size difference. Yes. Right? Yeah. So he's, he, well, he would have gotten scared is what he would have done. Right. Or, or, or he might've got excited, but always create distance. Yeah. Okay. Because distance reduces problems. Distance reduces stress. Right. Come on kiddo. Yeah. Yeah. You having fun. Woohoo. Right, and again, like we so talked. So this is what I get. That yeah, but that's okay. You don't have a Rottweiler. No. You have a little tiny Dachshund. He can bounce around, right? Yep. And if you let him do this, right, he's going to be a lot more tired when you get home. True. That's true. Right. If you're trying to always make him stop doing it, he's going to get frustrated and bark. Uh huh. So it's a combination of allowing him to gather scent. Yes. It's okay. You know, I don't think a lot of people know this about this yes. kind of way to do this. They don't. Good boy, it's okay. Because everybody thinks the dog should just be you know, quietly walking along and you should teach them that. Well, that comes from military dog training when you were in formation and you had a gun. And come on, buddy, let's go. I see a lot of stuff here. It looks like fertilizer. Let's go. Ugh. Yeah, let's go. Yeah, you're right. All right, so another DOG. So we're going to go off to the side, right? We're going to create a little distance. And we got a jogger. Yes. Yes. absolutely right a lot of people don't understand this because people don't get information 
from sources that actually understand dogs. They get information from sources where people are trying to teach them how to be leaders, mm -hmm. which is not, you're already leading. I have thumbs. Yeah. My brain can compute way more than dogs. Like the person's the leader, is that what I'm you mean? always leading. Yeah, What's my dog gonna right. do? Yeah. It eats what I want it to eat. It drinks the water I want it to drink. Right. It goes to the places I want to take it. The only thing the dog can do without humans is sleep, bark, and breathe. Yeah. So I'm already running the show. It's, right. So that's not a problem. The problem is people get information from sources and those sources don't understand dog behavior. Right. They don't understand how important scent is. I, I never knew that. It's crucial. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, you know, well, look how good he's doing. He's very good. He's not barking at joggers. Nope. Not barking at the lawn people. He's not barking at the tennis people. He didn't he's, bark at the he's kids. He's not hyper. He's not all excited. I mean, he's excited, but, but I'm wait, wait. but I'm letting him be a dog. Yeah. Right? Like, he wants to go over here and smell, so I'm letting him smell. If I want to go somewhere and I don't want to have to do the work, I leave the dog home. Yeah. So if I want to come to this park and walk around here thing. four times yeah. by myself, I leave the dog home, put my earbuds in, then I go home yeah. and walk my dog. Because you're not going to get that with it. No, you might, yeah. but it depends on the dog. Like, and it well, not with Luffy. And it's, yeah. Well, you could, but how are you going to set it up? Right, so you could set it up by you spend the first five minutes just walking slowly, and then you say, okay, come on, bud, let's go. Right? Yeah. And then you just give him a little exercise. But again, you have a long-haired dachshund. He's not built for big exercise. Yeah. Right? What are these dogs created for? To catch rats? Yeah, yeah, Probably. badgers and stuff yeah. like that. Yeah. Right. So that's not necessarily an, a big exercise. No. Right? Unless you're bringing them to a farm to catch yeah. them because you have a, an infestation. Yeah. But what I'm saying is, you know, herding dogs. Right. Like, right? Those dogs are dogs that are predisposed to do, you know, 10-hour days. I can see there's a dog there and there's a dog there. Here comes another dog. So we're going to step off this way. Right, we're just going to head out over here. Because again, she's looking at her phone. She's not paying attention at all. Right. Yes. Yes. Nice, popping right off the marker, Lou. Yes. 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 Good job. Good boy. Yes. So, a marked difference from the first time. I can tell you've been doing the yes and treat routine. That's great. That's great. Okay, bud. Okay. <laughs> Two dogs. Yes. 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 Good job, buddy. Good job. Good job, buddy. Good boy. Yeah, well, not everybody gets their video featured on YouTube. I know, that was crazy. But it was such a good session, and... Oh, everybody that I know that looked at it, they were like, oh my God, it's fantastic. Yeah, and you know, um, I make videos for people so that they can have help with their dog. Yeah. You know? Um, and a lot of times, you know, I get an email or a comment or somebody will mention like, I saw your video and it completely changed my whole life. So, yeah. yes, I see him way well, down there. It's changed, it's helped Big me stress with him. I can't even tell you. And it seems like, you know, he's not, he wasn't ever that difficult to dog, but I, you know, I, my other dog was totally opposite of this one. Well, they're all individuals. Yeah, I mean, she was very, very mellow. Leave it, go away. As cat guys, we're not gonna play with that. So again, you can see like I'm letting him go where he wants to go uh -huh. versus trying to walk around the track. Right. Yes. That's, that's the so you see what way. just happened there? 
what just happened there was he saw that dog way over there. Yeah. Right? And he looked back. He turned, he checked in. Good job, buddy. Did he look? I didn't catch that because I was. Yeah, he looked right back at me like, hey, pay me for that. That's my treat. <laughs> That's good. That means that means that he's figuring it out. That yeah. he gets paid for dogs. Mm -hmm. And remember when you mark and pay your dog, right? When you yes and treat him. All they're gonna figure out is that they're safe and that stuff predicts getting paid. Mm -hmm. Come on, little man, where are you going? Woohoo! What you doing, man? So, we got a jogger coming. Yes! So, he already spotted him, right? He already spotted him. No, well, you don't want that. Where are you going? Where are you going, Lou? Yes. 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 Good job. Good boy. Good job. You did good, buddy. Come on, buddy. You know, and the other thing about Louie is that he's a little short-haired uh, or short-legged short long-haired dachshund so his stamina is going to be you know a little less than if less you had a lab or yeah, he's you know got come on bud little short legs. yeah oh god i walked the legs off my other dog <laughs> <laughs> what kind of dog was it uh she was a, a, a another dachshund yes i don't have the dog in. yes that's okay, I got him on my chest camera. Here we go. Yes. Okay. So what's interesting Do you is want me to turn it off? No, keep going. Okay. So what's interesting is he was doing a little stalling over there. And then as soon as he realized we're going back to the car, he's now he's moving. Uh-huh. Yeah. Right, because he yeah. Well. Yes. Fertilizer. Yes. There you go, good boy. Yes. It's okay. Yes. Good turn back. Yeah, you can tell he knows where he's going. Oh yeah. He always knows where home is. That's good. Mama's coming. 